Castlevania Symphony of the Night is a classic game for PS1. It is the first Castlevania game I ever played. It is a Metroidvania style game, which refers to you being able to explore the map and using various items and abilities that you collect to unlock other areas and stages of the map. There is a freedom to explore the map in the order that you see fit. Castlevania Symphony of the Night begins with you playing as Richter Belmont, the protagonist from previous Castlevania games, as you fight Dracula himself. You are powerful and skilled. Immediately after, you start as Alucard, the son of Dracula, storming the castle to confront your father. Again, you are powerful. You have high-level equipment, uh, armor, sword, shield. But you quickly lose that equipment and are left unarmed. You have to collect equipment, artifacts, skills in order to recover the power that you had at the beginning of the game. A common trope which works well in this instance. Progressing through Dracula's castle, you can pick up a variety of weapons to suit your play style, or if you'd like, you can run through the entire game unarmed, boxing all your enemies. I recommend checking out some unarmed speedruns, if that sounds interesting to you. As in other Castlevania games, there is an item system where you collect hearts in order to use your held items that you pick up from fallen enemies or around the map. You can transform into a bat, a dog, and two mist in order to traverse various areas of the castle as you battle Dracula's minions and mini-bosses. There is a combo input spell system. You can do a variety of special moves if you input the correct button sequence. There are toggleable artifacts that change the game. You can select which ones you would like in order to play, perhaps a double jump, increased damage, summoning various familiars. As you move through the castle, you unlock various parts of the map, and it is logged in your map as a percentage. The percentage slowly climbs up towards 100%. But the game tricks you. There are a series of endings, each a little bit better than the last. And at the 100% complete mark, there is a satisfying ending. However, the game continues long after that. You're able to get percentage completion up past 200% as you find the secret endings and the uncover the real mystery that is happening in Dracula's castle. The graphics in Castlevania Symphony of the Night hold up surprisingly well, considering it is a PlayStation 1 game. And I think there would be no problem playing it even now. You can tell that the development team had a lot of fun. They put a lot of love and polish into the game. There's even a secret audio track. If you put the PlayStation 1 disc into a CD player or a computer, you're treated to a voice line from Alucard and a special secret bonus song. There's also a way to play the entire game as Richter Belmont. These types of Easter eggs used to be very common in video games, and the artifact system is similar to the ch unlockable cheats that many games would have, and Personally, I miss this style of game where there was an interaction between you and the developer as you slowly follow the clues and breadcrumbs they left you to find all the secret aspects of the game. Overall, Symphony of the Night is a fantastic Castlevania game. I recommend picking it up. There was recently a Netflix animated series based around Castlevania, and it features Alucard, so you can play the game and watch the animation together. Thanks for listening, and Happy Halloween!